in this time i talk about some very most important question answer this topic is definite integral as the limit of sum okay so this is lecture number 2 okay please you note down this question integration of a to b x dx how to solve this problem okay wall question very most important i provide only this question answer okay so please you note down this question answer okay so this given question it is uh, limit this is lower limit and this is upper limit okay a to b x dx next limit n tends to infinite b minus a by n summation of r is equal to 1 to n a plus b minus a by n into r okay and is equal to limit n tends to infinite b minus a by n a n plus b minus a by n into n into n plus 1 by 2 is equal to limit n tends to infinite a into b minus a plus b minus a whole square by 2 into 1 plus 1 by n okay and is equal to a into b minus a plus b minus a whole square by 2 is equal to b minus a by 2 into a plus b is equal to 1 by a this is formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b okay so this is b square minus a square okay this formula and next by f u n d a m e n t a l fundamental theorem a to b x dx is equal to this formula it is uh, x to the power 1 1 plus 1 means 2 by 2 okay a to b integration and is equal to b square by 2 minus a square by 2 because upper limit minus lower limit okay And is equal to one by two common so b square minus a square. Okay, same to same answer. This is true process. First, this is limit process. Okay, and this is only integration formula process. Okay, so this question is very and most important question. Okay, next I talk about question number two. Question number two, which is very most important. So first, to note down this question answer. Question number two, it is integration of uh, integration of zero to one x square dx. Okay, how to solve this problem? X square dx. So first, to um, solve and try uh, limit of sum definition uh, topic. You solve this problem. Next, to try. Okay, formula is answer. So this question answer is limit n tends to infinite one by n summation of r is equal to one to n r by n is square is equal to r means one to three for n means one to three. Okay, and limit n tends to infinite one by n n into n plus one. Okay, into two n plus one by six n square. Okay, and is equal to one by six limit n tends to infinite one plus one by n. Okay, two plus one by n. Okay, is equal to one by six into two is equal to one by three. Okay, this is answer. And next formula based question by F U N D A M E N T A L fundamental theorem. By fundamental theorem, integration of zero to one x square dx is equal to this is formula x integration of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus one by n plus one plus c. Okay, and it is x cube by three zero to one is equal to upper limit minus lower limit. This answer it is one by three. This is answer. Next question number three. Okay, so first we note down this question answer. Next question number three. 
this question is integration of 0 to 1 x cube dx okay how to solve this problem so this given question 0 to 1 x cube dx is equal to limit n tends to infinite okay 1 by n summation of r is equal to 1 to n n means 1 2 3 4 okay dot 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 r by n cube because this is power cube okay and put it this value it is fine next limit n tends to infinite 1 by n n into n plus 1 e square by 4 n cube okay and is equal to this answer it is 1 by 4 okay next we apply by fundamental theorem by fundamental theorem by fundamental theorem this is 0 to 1 x cube dx is equal to x to the power 4 by 4 and limit value 0 to 1 is equal to 1 by 4 okay this is answer next question question number 4 this question is very most important this question is okay 